The Toxic Substances Control Act was passed in 1976, so more than 30 years ago. It's never been updated. It is the law in the United States that regulates industrial chemicals. Chemicals don't have to be tested for safety before they're sold. When new chemicals come on the market, EPA has 90 days to review those chemicals. 80% of them they approve in three weeks or less with or without safety data. 62,000 chemicals were grandfathered in, presumed safe, when the law was passed. We refer to Tosca as being a broken piece of unusable legislation and have re recommended its wholesale overhaul just because of the, the, uh, the burden of proof argument. Um, EPA has to go through a rulemaking to prove a chemical is dangerous before it can require any controls on the chemical industry. And as a result, uh, that piece of legislation has been used infrequently to control dangerous chemicals. Since the Toxic Substances Control Act was passed 30 years ago, EPA has only banned or restricted five different chemicals or substances, and they haven't even banned asbestos under this law. You've got to remember there's 700 new chemicals that introduce commerce, inter, are introduced into commerce every year. There's about 80,000 chemicals in use in the Tosca inventory. Um, and so uh, uh, to have EPA endure all the burden of chemical regulation uh, seems a bit uh, unfair. What happens as a result of this law is what we found in our body burden study of umbilical cord blood that found 287 different pollutants in 10 babies at birth. Those are incredibly important studies because um, although they don't have a, a, a statistical power, they're not looking at you know, a hundred or a thousand different people. The fact that they find so many, it, it's like finding a needle in the haystack. And, and the fact that they can find it suggests that we have very widespread exposure probably all the time. We're exposed to hundreds of chemicals in the course of a day. They absorb through our skin, say when we use lotions or other, you know, shampoos, conditioners, deodorants. We breathe them in. We breathe in contaminants for indoor air. We breathe in um, automobile pollution when we're commuting to work. We eat trace contaminants in our foods. We eat food packaging chemicals, persistent pesticides. Um, so just the act of living now involves exposures to hundreds of chemicals every day. And most of these chemicals didn't even exist 50 years ago. So this is a big experiment. What happens when you expose 300 million people to hundreds of chemicals? daily. What does that mean for our health? And um, the results of the experiment aren't in yet, but the results won't be positive. We're seeing changes in the pattern of cancer today that cannot be explained by changes in our genes. Only one in ten women who gets breast cancer gets it because she inherited a defective gene from her parents. Only one in ten children who get leukemia have inherited a defect from their parents, either their father or their mother. So that means that most cases of cancer that arise are not born, but made as a result of the way our genes interact with the environment.